Hi, um, today I'll give you a quick tour around La Mata. Um, it's just after Christmas, in fact, it, I think it's the 26th today. Uh, you can see the sea is looking rather nice today, nice and inviting, um, which isn't bad for December. Several of the restaurants are open up today, um, as you can see, there's a fair few people. Also, we, we've got some people camping. I think some of the camping is actually free in Spain. I haven't looked into it too much. Um, this side of the town, you, you find as many tourist places. Um, lots of rentals all the way along, which is why most of them are pretty empty this time of year. You can say there's a fair few people out with it being uh, just after Christmas. Obviously, uh, a bit more social at this time of year. Um, maybe pushing the boat out financially. Uh, all, all meeting up, because it's normally pretty quiet here. Got somebody else cycling along the the beach. Um, let's have a look around the town. All along the beachfront, you'll find there's a walkway that seems to go for miles. Well, it does go for miles actually. Um, I think you can walk all the way into Torvea from here. Um, Torvea is right around the coast there. Um, well, yeah, what I'm finding a lot of is places like this where. It's obviously a restaurant that's closed down, but throughout the year, it seems a lot of people, if you don't make it through the summer season, making a lot of money, you'll probably be bust by the end of the year. Um, and there's a lot of places that are available for sale here at the moment. As you can see, Sivendi means for sale. Um, and you'll find a lot of businesses like that at the moment. The strange thing is you can have businesses next door to each other like this. So you can see the other one is all right. I would assume the other one's uh, more locally owned. So they've probably already gone through the bad times of setting up as well as probably owning the building. Uh, there's a bar next door to that one as well. Uh, a cafe pub, Angler, which is open even in the quiet season. Here's a, an apartment for rent, uh, for sale. Uh, apartments for sale are all over the place in here as well. Is there a restaurant hotel? Uh, I don't know what the name of the hotel is, because <laughs> there's no sign on it. All business property is for sale. Um, I'm not sure if the souvenir one's still alive. I haven't seen it actually open. Because uh, some of these, there's nobody here. If it's out of season, there's just literally no point opening up. There's nobody to sell to. Uh, not enough to justify the electric anyway. Uh, there's another restaurant there, the Tilti Fruity. I haven't seen that one open yet either. One thing I see a lot of around this area though is um, bird wildlife. Um, over the over the other side of the road from where we are at the moment, uh, which is Torre La Mata, there's a couple of lakes which are wildlife sanctuaries. As you can see here, the couple of birds sitting, sunning out on some rocks. The centre of the the town in La Mata is uh, this old tower. Um, I'm not sure how they work, but I assume on the, on the roof you would actually uh, fill it with material you can set fire to. Um, basically, they were used as a used for warning when pirates, raiding parties, or whatever are, are going to uh, come up uh, come ashore, and they would notify everybody in the area by starting a fire here and I'm sure um, as you go further up the coast it would light up the next one as they could see it and whatever warning systems they had right across not only the coast but also into the towns maybe the bells ring into the church that sort of thing it's quite a nice landmark looks a bit new to me which does, does make me wonder how much repairs have been done to it and this is the town plaza. As you can see, it's pretty busy. Uh, Ubud's enjoying the, the trampoline and 
fairground rides yesterday. Um, as you can see, a lot of the shops are still shut, but some of this is because it's Christmas, remember. Uh, restaurants are open as usual. As you can see, the beach just continues on and on. There's more restaurants further up. We'll take a walk up there in a minute. There's a Christmas tree. That's the uh, local church. This is the beaches I've actually seen the town plaza since I've been here. Um, everybody, because everyone's off school, it's just after Christmas, pretty much everybody in the town seems to be here and probably from other areas um, just relaxing on their day off. Uh, the church is quite nice here. I haven't been inside yet because as you can see it's shut. It seems to open in the evenings. Um, also, on the corner there is the butchers, which is normally open, but he's closed. Uh, I got a real estate agent, uh, sort of news agent type store, and then the bakery, what they call a panenderia. Town, town's very busy today. Some of the restaurants are open. Fairgrounds open, two, two euros fifty a ride, so they're doing alright today. Uh, we'll take a walk up the beach, and then we'll come back up through the shops. You can see some of the restaurants are still closed, and some are open. Um, when you see a player, um, it's nothing to do about being a player. Player actually means the beach. La player is the beach. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. There are some equipment here for doing some workouts on and as you can see we're slowly working our way up the beach um, there's a nice restaurant here uh, what's it called this one the first one here uh, Sea View International restaurant which do Indian food kebabs and fish and chips pretty much everything in one place as you can see, Zana Kebab seems extremely busy, um, but also as you head further up the beach, it does get a bit more developed. I think they've spent more money on these. These are more recent uh, properties than the ones at the other end of the town. Um, as you can see, there's still construction going on in the background. Uh, also, there's a lot of villas at this end, or what I call duplexes, where it's just uh, two-story properties. Uh, there's the first aid desk. bit further up you can see the lifeguard post which won't be occupied at the moment because we're still out of season. Um, you see a lot of these guys in um, which is sell bags, sunglasses and everything else. They're pretty much everywhere. They'll go where the tourists go. They can get a bit irritating some nights because they will come and ask you every day that you're on holiday or here. If you're sat in the same restaurant, same seat, you will get the same guy come and pat ask you the same questions every single day trying to get you buy something um, well aware they need the cash but at the same time I'm not here for their amusement okay, um, we're coming at the other end of the the shops uh, Correos I want to show you this sign um, which is basically the post office the purple one uh, central cultural I think that's actually the tourist information office. Not a hundred percent, because I'm not. I don't know what Polybear Land is. I'll find out later. Uh, another real estate agent up here. And um, this is El Calamote Pub, which is just on where the main shops are now. Pretty much, this is where the centre of life is in La Mata. Supermarkets here. Um, the only bank in the town's here, which is the Samadel. Supermarkets closed. I find the supermarket normally opens about five o'clock at night. Uh, I haven't actually seen it open during the day, so is it open during the day? I haven't got a clue. I've never seen it. Summer. I'll, I'll show you that as well because it's quite an important building 
um, when we were actually doing our paperwork processing, we actually walked into the summer office because it actually looks like a bank, bank, but it's not. It's actually for tax documentation. It's where you go and do your car tax, um, what would be the council tax, property tax, that sort of thing. That's all in the summer office, which is just a little building here, which, as you can see, is actually open today. There's a little tool shop and the pharmacy. Some, something about the pharmacy, um, I've found that some of the medications we needed, they had one day, then the next day, no pharmacy in the area had it. Now, I'm not sure if there's, there's some uh, set up to do with licensing um, where they're authorised to do it sometimes and not others whether I don't know it's subsidized in some way or whatever because we're paying anyway but we couldn't get the medication for Zoe's eye treatment um, there's another restaurant and uh, as you can see they're selling real estate as well okay we're a little bit further up now um, that's a tourist shop reminds me very much of British uh, holiday resorts like Blackpool where you get all your postcards, stick a rock, that sort of thing. And this is one of the parks we have in the area. And you can see the kids are enjoying themselves. And the other thing is, these facilities are open. Um, the other thing I like about Spain is you don't see a lot of damage done to facilities. People look after them. Which may sound a bit odd, but the amount of stuff I see wrecked in the UK is horrendous. This is the guy that sell like hot chocolate, which I haven't seen open yet, so I assume they're closed for the, uh, the end of season. Also in a container building, so I'll add that to my uh, container blog. This one I haven't seen open. And see everybody's busy playing football. And then there's this bowl game. I'm not sure how to play it. I think it's... it's must be a bit like green balls. I'm, not, I'm no expert, so I won't really comment on that. But it's pretty popular here. Um, you find nearly every day somebody's playing it. As you can see, the park's in good condition. Another thing I do find a little bit irritating is a lot of people take dogs up the beach, which is it's not really what it's designed for. Well, it wasn't designed for anything, I mean, yeah. but um, the kids go along the beach, which is why I get a bit irritated by people, the ones that don't bother picking up the mess. Uh, this is the Pacayo Park. Um, for those that aren't aware, Pacayo is Spanish. Um, Zoe and Uber been here already. I think they've been to every play park between here and France. And these are the new developments that are ongoing at the moment. As I said, this end of the town is a lot newer than the bit we live at. I mean, we're not, ru <laughs> we're not run down or in a slum, but as you can see, these are actually in construction. There are also, the price tags attached to these are quite large. I'm not sure who's buying them or how many have been sold, but they do look nice. Um, I wouldn't mind having one myself, but I'd have to think twice on the price, though. I can guarantee it's not a reasonable amount. Um, and then we head up into the bit between Torre La Mata and Torre Vea. This is still La Mata, but it's a bit that's getting towards the, the end of the town, which continues for miles. Um, it's mainly all holiday rentals. There's a few restaurants in amongst it. Um, what else could I say about it? There's a couple of pharmacies, but there's nothing huge there. I mean, the the main town here is the the plaza. Everything does go around the plaza. 
Um, so, you know, although I could take your walk up there, I can't really see the point. Um, I suppose I could do a video of it later for those interested for a cycle round. Um, because the reason I'd be interested with me cycling around is if you're looking for property because you could actually bypass some of the real estate agents if you contacted owners direct. Um, but there's properties available all over the place. I mean, if you look over here, there's, there's one up there. I mean, there's no there's no shortages of properties available for sale. For rent, I would say it's a bit harder to find a place. Um, but, I mean, holiday rentals, you've got no problem. The place is full of them, but for a long-term rental, it could be a bit harder. As you can see, the bus is just going. Um, another important thing to point out is there's regular bus services from La Mata into Torveya. Um, another property for a sale. Oh, it's sold. And I'll take a walk round. Uh, here's the local, um, what do you call it, post office, uh, which is open today as well. Another pharmacy, which isn't. Although the pharmacies are closed at the moment, they might be open later. Because uh, this one's normally open during the day, so I'm not sure why it's not open today. Uh, it probably open after five, it's only half past two at the minute. Another restaurant, because this is another thing, nothing's sort of laid out, so although you've got the supermarket and everything in the middle, you'll find that there's developments all over the place. Um, this it's a German, rouse, yeah, German restaurant, and as we come around the corner, um, there's a new tourist office here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to have a look in that building in a minute. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, this is the new tourism office, which also acts as the town hall. Um, they have the Policia Local. There's a police desk in there. Um, you can pop in and just grab some free newspapers. Um, as you can see, it's walking distance from the plaza but you wouldn't really notice it <laughs> um, because obviously the, it's got a big building in front of it but it, well worth dropping in let you know what everything that's going on they also speak English um, so well worth dropping in there when you get time there's a garage for sale or rent the Sea Alquila Somebody will correct me on my pronunciation. Means for rent. But we'll go up and have a look at that other building because I'm not sure what it is. It's a nice restaurant. I haven't seen this one open. point out is getting a this this is the lakes opposite um, but also within walking distance of the the plaza which is sort of just over behind that building um, that was the building but it's just apartments the, the one I was looking at but as you can see plenty of buses the cycle routes as well um, that are pretty well laid out um, there's a tunnel system on the, the roundabout here, which lets you run you into whichever side you want. To, you'll take you out up this side, or you can go uh, down towards the petrol station on the other side. But this is the main main road we have, which is uh, dual track and runs right into Torvea and beyond. And if you head this way, you head up to Alicante. Not Alicante, Guatemala is the first place you come to, um, where we went to the markets. But let's have a look around, see what else we can find. South, well, 
It would be south or north. Be northerly of the um, plaza because obviously the, the sea is actually on the east coast. If you looked at it from the from a live map like Google Earth or whatever. Um, but it, we've got a little sports shop here. Uh, this is a tobacconist, uh, tobaccos. You'll see the signs are pretty much the same in most places. Um, they're very useful not for just smoking. Um, what you have in them, because they're licensed government offices, you can, as you can see, they do photocopy, fax, they also do stamps, stationery, and a lot of forms that you'll need. Um, I think they do the NIE form, but they also do things like, if you're doing property rentals, they, they will actually have the contracts that you need to get signed up. And they're pretty cheap, a lot cheaper than paying somebody else to do it for you. And yet another real estate agent. And then we have another one on this side. Tells you where all the money is going. Um, and a little bar, a local bar, which is also closed at the minute. I bear in mind these these aren't closed businesses. It's just that it's Christmas. Um, this one's a restaurant, which I find a bit bizarre how it's blocked off the road for its own seating. <laughs> is it authorised? I have no idea. Um, just a little bit funny. Bus shelter, so you don't have to walk too far to get the bus. Um, what else have we got here? Another real estate agent for guys from... My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. From Austria. And then you have another real estate agent. So you can see the, the businesses reside predominantly on real estate sales. Um, this store I haven't seen open. There's a gay bar up there. I, I haven't even looked at it being open. Then uh, these, these guys do uh, internet calf plus uh, mobile phone sims. Dentists. Uh, what we've got here. I'm not 100% sure. There's a little restaurant here. It's normally open in the evenings. Opticians. Furniture mobile. Mobile is like furniture. Uh, so M U E B L E S. That's furniture. Mobiles. Mobile. M O B E L is furniture in German and probably other dialects. And. That's the bar we were we seen when we first come out. And I'll continue up this street, then I'll head up a little bit further north so you can see the Chinese supermarket and Chinese restaurant. Um, there's a little cafe, cafe and bar up here, um, which is more traditional. It does tapas and stuff like that. Hairdressers. Ah, they're open. So it's a little, nice little place there. Um, which is our our nearest bar and restaurant, which is more suited to me, nice and quiet. Um, very important to us. Where to buy wine? But, uh, these guys. I've got more than enough wine to keep me going. <laughs> Not that I'm drinking a lot anyway, that was just a joke. And this place I haven't seen open either. Um, cosmetics, drugs, it uh, looks like a department store of sorts. Another restaurant, cafeteria, <laughs> haven't seen that one open. Parking for sale for rent. Because parking spaces are um, a major problem in this town. Because what you're finding is people like me are here all year round. So we fill up all the parking spaces. So when the tourists arrive, there isn't a lot left. Um, which is why I advise using bikes or bus. 
uh, get yourself a push bike because <laughs> the, the connections are pretty good between here and Torvea and you only really want a car if you're going further afield or for the, the supermarket if you wanted to go up to Carful. But as you can see, it's quite a nice, quiet town at the minute. I'm not sure it's going to be this nice and quiet when it becomes tourist season. As you can see, this end of town, this is the bit we live in, it's not too bad. It's just, I mean, all the, the buildings are in pretty good nick. It's just not as new. And that's a little furniture store. And that's, these look like villas because there's no upstairs. And if you have a breakdown, this is your local um, mechanic. Which, if you go past the roundabout coming from Torbea, take the last turn, you'll actually come round and come right outside their front door. Who uh, are also not working today. What we got here? Another restaurant bar for restaurant for rent so the thing with this is as you can see it's, it's getting out of town um so like this time of year there'll be hardly any customers but you know in holiday season all these properties here will be full but this is what i'm saying if you don't make enough money in the tourist season you haven't got a hope because uh, most of the businesses that are struggling are in these sort of locations because they're just off the main strips um, here's a nice Chinese restaurant, and opposite, opposite is the Bizarre Grand Chino, which is all of that building, which is full of all your Chinese stuff. Uh, another restaurant, and the gay bar down there. And that's pretty much this side of the matter. Like I said, I'll do a video of the other side. But if you look at the video I already did on my bike, you'll actually see most of the stuff that's worth seeing on that side anyway. Um, thanks for watching.